Alrighty guys, so a lot of people have been asking me if I enjoy what I do, how I open my business, how did I start this journey, what made me choose this over a 9 to 5, and if this is something that they should pursue as well. Now I'm going to give you all the insight on what happened to make me this person that I am today. And I wrote everything down on this notepad so I don't lose my train of thought like I always do. But let's get right to it. So. The first thing is my work history. I went to school after graduating high school in 2011. While I was in high school, I actually worked, I didn't work, sorry, <laughs> start over. While I was in high school, I went to two different high schools. One was a trade school and one was a regular, you know, high school for all my academics and whatever, like gym and all that crap. Um, the first technical school I went to uh, got me into the world of automotive. Now, I used to like cars before. I used to do some some of these stuff way beforehand. But going to the school for the automotive is what actually allowed me to get a deeper knowledge into it. Now, during the first year of that school, I had to choose four different electives. So the first was automotive technology. The second one was general contracting. The third one was small animal care. And the fourth one was um, auto body. Small animal care wasn't for me. Now, I love animals, don't get me wrong. I love all kinds of life, but yeah, it's just not for me. Um, the general contracting, I didn't really do so well in it because my math skills and the way I had to cut stuff, I just couldn't comprehend it. But if I do it by myself nowadays, I can comprehend it. So it, it's just, I guess it's my learning style and the way they were teaching. I just wasn't picking up what they were putting down. Um, the auto body, same thing. I wasn't picking up what they were putting down. Now that I tried on my own, I understand it completely. Watching YouTube looking at other people's styles i understand it 10 times more finally the automotive i was grasping that i had an easier time with it it wasn't that bad um but you actually learn a lot more in the real life versus the school life so after graduating school i was going to trade school um it was a, a technical college and i'm not going to put any names on it because uh you know how I feel about school. If you don't know how I feel about school, I really don't like school. I think school is a complete waste of time. Unless you're going to go to school to become a doctor or a lawyer or something in that nature, then you need a school. But things like certain trades where you don't really need the schooling, you can just go and get uh, an apprenticeship and work and learn. I think that's way more worth it than anything because real life experience goes way more further than schooling does. Um, especially in this day and age where everything you have such a plethora of information on the web you can find it you, you people will teach you it's so super easy even my channel i teach you some stuff all the time um so i went to school did that for a year got my diploma um got out got a internship at honda worked for honda for a while didn't like it you know everything is rush 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 i don't like that kind of life one thing you guys are going to notice about me is I have a problem with authority. That doesn't mean I have problems with cops or anything like that. I actually love cops. I don't have an issue with them. Um, sometimes I do. There are corrupt ones. There are really good ones. Corrupt ones, I don't like. Good ones, I do like. But authority-wise, is I don't like people telling me what to do. Um, especially if I'm going to a workstation, I know what I'm doing. I don't like someone coming and dictating how to do what I'm doing. Especially if it's something that I know how to do. Now, if I don't know how to do it, I'm all ears, I'm going to listen, you know, I, I've never done it before, you're teaching me, I'm learning. Um, but all in all, I have an issue with authority. Uh, I, I always see things that are being done wrong, and I know there are ways that I can go about it better. Um, so that never meshed with me, especially the work schedules and stuff, I never liked them. Um, knowing that you have to beg, basically, for PTO, and if you do take your PTO, it's a problem. Those kinds of stuff, that's just not my life. I'm more of the free-spirited person. I like that kind of life, being free. So that led me to, you know, working job after job after job after job after job, getting fired, getting fired, you know, leaving job, leaving job, leaving job, getting fired, leaving a job. My whole history is, is a bunch of getting fired and, and uh, quitting and it's just not working out. So whoever knows me personally will know that that's how my history was. Or I'm always leaving a job for something better. Until one day I was like, you know what, screw this crap, uh, automotive isn't for me, I'm gonna go back to school. Went back to school for occupational therapy, was doing it, enjoyed it, but 
wasn't working. Needed to make some money. Uh, I ended up opening my mobile auto repair business. Now when I opened that business, it was bringing me some money. And when I started seeing the money that was coming in, my mind was like, why am I paying for schooling to go to school for this when I can stick to what I'm doing right now and bring in more money? That's where my mind was. Um, occupational therapy, yeah, you need the schooling for it. They teach you a whole bunch of stuff. It was awesome. I learned CPR, I learned all kinds of crap. Uh, well, it's not crap, but good stuff. And the money is what really got to me. Now, my life, a lot of people may say, oh, money's not worth everything. And, and they're right, money's not everything, but it does bring you happiness. It does bring life a lot easier to you. Unfortunately, the world that we work in works with money. So I've never seen a rich person really, really sad. Yeah, there are some miserable ones out there because, the, you know, the money, fame, all that goes to them. That doesn't happen to me. I control money, money will never control me. Um, but I, I like the money that was coming in. And, um, you know, I, I worked on my own timing. It was, it was you know, I, I could do whatever I wanted. I was free, I was able to talk to my customers. I was able to have a personal relationship with each one of them. That's awesome. When you work for someone, you don't get that personal relationship. It's just a job, you go to do your job, you get out, bam, done, over with. I'm a very personable person. I like knowing who I'm working with. I like getting to know people. That's just me. Um, now it brings me fast forward all the way to Florida. So I lived in Jersey at that time when I did all of that. Moved to Florida, worked for a few companies, trucking companies, learned how to do diesel. Never done diesel in my life. Opened up a whole new world for me. I got some diesel certificates, uh, my Cummins, OEMs, a whole bunch of stuff like that. And um, I enjoyed it, but still, I didn't like the factor of being a dog. It's like they dog you. You work in these harsh environments. Uh, they don't care. They just want the work done. They pay you literally next to nothing while they're making tons and tons of money. It's, it's just something I didn't like. That led me to finally saying, you know what, enough's enough. I'm going to be a business owner again. I did it in Jersey for a little bit as a mobile mechanic. It worked out well for me. Let me try seeing if I can find a place to rent. Now, finding a place to rent sucks. A lot of people, especially in where I'm at in Florida right now, do not want to rent to mechanics. They think that we're messy, we're dirty. If you guys seen my previous videos, I try to keep this place as neat and clean as possible. My floors are super clean. I mop them every single day. There's no oil spills. There's nothing like that on my floor. I try to keep the shop very organized, very clean. Any car that I'm working on, I try to keep it as clean as possible. So I finally found a place in Florida. Guy gave me a chance and an opportunity, so I'm super grateful for that. It allowed me to, to build a business. I'm, so far, the business is doing extremely, extremely well. I, I have that personal relationship with the customers. I get to, you know, be who I am, who I truly am. I get to provide a service. I get to get paid for it. The, the extreme freedom that I have with this is awesome. Um, and the amount of different personalities I meet, the different cars that I encounter, the different problems that I encounter, these things I never encountered when I was in school. And it's, it's, it's awesome, like you get to learn so much. There are certain things that I had no idea would cause an issue, but it actually causes an issue. And you don't learn these things in school. Um, if you go through my YouTube channel, you'll see a whole bunch of either shorts, or videos of me repairing, fixing, doing certain stuff. Uh, the money aspect of it is great. Like seriously, if you're considering going into a trade, learn what you can, learn as much as you can in that trade and branch off on your own if you wanna make a good amount of money. The more you branch off on your own, the better for you. You become self-sufficient, you become independent, you make a lot of money, you write off a lot of stuff for taxes because you buy a whole bunch of stuff to get the business running. That's a whole separate video. But I guarantee you it's worth it. Now, if you're the type of person that will try something for a couple weeks, complain, moan, groan that it's not working, owning a business is not for you. I currently own this business, this shop. I currently own my YouTube channel. I currently own my Amazon affiliates market. Um, all three of those bring me income. I'm trying to look for other forms of income like TikTok, Instagram. I'm trying to do those other stuff. 
Now, I have a strong mind, so I don't let things get to me. Sure, there are negative sides of opening a business. Um, the amount of paperwork that you gotta do. For, unfortunately, I love paperwork, so it doesn't bother me. Um, the amount of money that it takes to open up a shop. Really, it barely took me any money. 10 grand got me started. I sold my Mustang, bought a lift with that money, used the rest to open up the shop. Really wasn't that bad. If you're smart with your money, you save your money while you work, you can do it. All the tools I got, I've acquired over years. I just love doing this as a hobby, had the YouTube channel, needed to do needed to do videos and need projects, needed the tools for them, bought it. Um, 10 grand got me started and it's been off since then. Uh, the, another negative side is all the, the certificates, this, that, this, that, and the next. If you got a weak stomach, don't do the business. Stick to your nine to five. Nothing is wrong with a nine to five. If you like waking up every morning to someone telling you what to do, if you like that security, that's up for you. That's up to you. But I'm gonna let you know something. In this day and age that we're living in right now, there is no such thing as job security anymore. That's all gone out the door. Everyone's so worried about 401ks. They're worried about paying into social security. They're worried about this. First of all, they're always talking about social security being emptied by X amount of day. If they're so worried about that, what's the point of paying into something that you know is gonna be empty and you're probably not gonna get? 401ks, people don't realize you're actually deferring your taxes. So if taxes are extremely high then, you're gonna have to pay that during that time. I, I don't invest in any of that stuff. I like tangible stuff like real estate and whatnot. So that's my goals of investing for real estate. Totally different video again, off topic. You see what I say? I get off topic too much. But guys, if you have a weak stomach, don't do this because I know so many people, even on my YouTube, when YouTube stopped paying me when I didn't have a thousand subscribers, yeah, it bummed me out a little bit, but I kept at it. Got the thousand, started getting paid again. I see so many people, man, I've been had this YouTube channel for a week, two weeks, and I'm not getting views, I'm not getting this, I'm not, and then they're all distraught and, and they just wanna give up. Then give up. Everything in life that you do takes hard work. If you're not willing to put in that hard work and sacrifice, nothing's gonna work your way. From the moment you're born till the moment you die, life is all about hard work. There's no such thing as working smarter, not harder. If you work smarter, you have to work harder behind it. it, it the hard work does pay off. It, I don't care what anyone tells you, hard work pays off. And that's a problem with a lot of people these days. No one wants to do hard work. Everyone wants everything to come like this. But you ever heard the saying, if it comes like this, it goes like that. Very quick. You, you cannot be afraid of the hard work. You gotta be willing to do the grind. Now, I'm not saying get up at five o'clock in the morning and, and hustle all the way up till one o'clock in the morning and go to sleep for three hours. I'm not saying that crap. Get your sleep, do what you gotta do properly. Wake up on your timing. Yeah, the earlier you wake up, the more work you can get done and you have more time during the day. Yes, that's the best. Me, I'm not an early riser. I, I hate that stuff, but I'm trying to build that structure in my life to become an early riser. The discipline. I'm trying to go back to the gym and get back into shape that discipline. I'm trying to do a lot of things different in my life to see how much further I can shoot this business. I have a lot of goals, guys. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you who are watching this have a lot of goals as well. I want the fr financial freedom. I want to get the things that I want. A Nissan Skyline is my dream car. All these cars in the background here are Skylines. I That's my dream car. I collect Skylines. Anytime I see a Sky, I just want it. And I know one day I'm going to have it. It's just a matter of time and how I'm going to obtain it. I don't give up. I still put videos out on YouTube all the time. Um, I, I'm trying to do these shorts every day. You just got to grind and hustle. Um, don't be afraid of the hard work. That's what I got to tell you. So many people are afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. Nothing comes easy in life. Everything always comes through dedication. I'm a strong believer in the universe. The universe loves everyone the universe is very giving the universe will always supply you when you meet it halfway it has to see that you're trying to do the work halfway there and the universe will meet you right here it'll mirror what you're doing and give you what you want you just have to believe you know
trust me guys things will work out great now if you want to open a business open one if you have the belly to do it do it learn as much as you can from someone find a mentor find a job find a uh, you know uh, what do you call it the um what do you call it the jobs that, that you do in apprenticeship find that do it learn as much as you can you'll be set start building some side jobs start building some clients talk to people become really you know that's one tip i gotta give you all become personable a lot of people especially in the auto field have no personality whatsoever learn to be comfortable learn to use your voice speak up talk people like people who talk you know learn to use your voice be a man be a woman talk be assertive be strong chest up head high shoulders back speak speak what you gotta say be confident in what you say even if you don't know what the hell you're talking about still be confident and if you're wrong well then google that crap and learn but also don't be afraid to learn from others as well a lot of people feel like they know it all ego drives them and and they don't want to learn in order to learn you have to learn to listen so i don't know if i went off topic but anyway guys opening a business this is how i did it went through my history there's so much more in depth to go through but that video would be like hours long trust yourself if you believe that you can do this i believe in you um and I wish you all good luck. If you have any comments or questions, just leave it in the comment section below, guys. I'm pretty helpful, man. I try to help everyone, and I definitely try to answer every single comment. So yeah, I'll help you the best I can. Just, just don't be afraid to ask. And there's no such thing as stupid questions. I understand people don't know everything. You're not going to be born with all this knowledge. So just ask. All right, guys. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.